my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I'm a content creator providing content creation tips and tricks for new and beginning content creators and UGC creators and I also do a little bit of productivity tips in the mix as well. Today we're diving into the topic of creating a content creation series or like a content series. So if you are just starting out with your content creation journey and you're wanting to find a way to have audience retention and have people coming back to your content, content series may just do it for you. All right, so first things first, what exactly is a content creation series or content series? It's pretty much a set of related videos that go with one another. Um, like these, these videos can like have a certain theme or a storyline. Like when people do parts one, two, and three, that's technically a series like how I blank part one, how I blank part two, like this, that's a content series. So instead of like having standalone content all the time, I'm not saying to not do standalone content, but so you can kind of switch up your content a little bit. You can start some type of series. A series is something that could possibly have people coming back to your content because they're wanting to know what's next. Or, you know, if you're teaching something, they're wanting to know what's the next part or what they should do next. So having a series is something that definitely can build up anticipation and wanting people to come back to your content. Okay, so now we should talk about the benefits of why you should even consider creating a content series. So I kind of briefly mentioned these already, but increase viewer retention. You have people, you will have people, you know, eventually coming back to your content for a series or something that they can gain knowledge from if you do like a part one, two, three, four, five, how many of your parts you want to do. That's a series that, you know, in order to get the full effect or get the full story of whatever it is you're telling they're going to have to keep coming back to look at those parts number two is like a stronger audience connection because if they're listening to you know what you have to say or they're finding value in whatever you're having to say for your series it helps you build like a deeper connection with your audience because nine times out of ten your content is going to be relatable to them and they're finding some type of value in there or some type of thing that is related is relatable to them and they can resonate with that. Another thing with that is comes easier content planning. Having a series is something that can help with planning content and future content. If you're planning on doing different series for any of your interests or hobbies, you can have set things that you can do for those, which aids in content creation planning as well. Okay, so next is choosing the right theme for your series. So when doing content creation series, the theme is something that is important and something that you should consider when you're in your planning phase of your content creation for this series. Number one, you have to know your audience. What kinds of things are they interested in? What topics do they like? Um, what is something that will be relatable to them? Think of all of that when you're trying to come up with a series. When you're choosing a theme, you need to choose a theme that you are passionate about and something that you are in fact knowledgeable in. Like I said, if you're trying to teach something or whatever, um, make sure it's something valuable that they can, you know, find value in. Another thing I would suggest is to kind of keep it broad, but also keep it focused. Um, to make it broad so that, you know, you can carry it over to different episodes, but make it focused so, you know, each part is different in its own way, but it all connects together. All right, so now that you have your plan, you have your theme, it's time to go ahead and create some content for your series. If you want to break down your episodes and what you want to have in each part, somewhat like an outline so you can kind of get an idea of what you want e each video to be about. I would also suggest keeping some type of content planner, content calendar, somewhere where you can know exactly when these things are going to be posted out or when you would want them posted out based on series and other posts that you may be doing in between all that as well. It's, you know, not a good look to have a series and then don't finish posting it or something you know so make sure you have some type of planner or calendar so you can keep track of that as well i would also batch create your content if you can sit and you know film different episodes for this or if you want to have a full video of you explaining whatever it is that you're trying to get across and you can break those down into short form pieces of content and post them out that way you can do that as well that's kind of what i do with my content but just find a way that works with you and something that you can stick to and do that and finally, don't forget to analyze your series. Um, just like anything else, check your analytics to make sure, you know, if it is working for your you and your channel or if it's not working for you and your channel, if you're getting any audience retention, if you're getting viewers, if you're getting people commenting or engaging in your content, keep track of all that because while it may be a good series, you feel like it's great and it can be something that people can find value in, it might not always work the first time around and you might have to go back into the drawing board and figure out what you can do differently. 
So that's all I have for today's video. This was a pretty brief and broad video of how to create a content series. I didn't go too in depth. Um, so if you're wanting something more in depth, definitely let me know and I can get that going for you. Cause like I said, I do try to incorporate series in my page as well. Um, if you're wanting, if you're wanting something more detailed, definitely let me know and I can get back to you. So this was just a brief overview of how to create a series. We went through kind of choosing a theme for the series, you know, outlining that and how many parts you want you know, going into the content creation phase and all that good stuff. Like I said, very broad, very brief overview. So if you're wanting any, you know, more details, let me know. Or if you have questions down below, definitely don't be afraid to ask. So if you got away to the end of today's video, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like, comment down below if you have any questions or, you know, if you're going to start experimenting with content series. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content creation tips and tricks just like this one. And also, don't forget to hit your push notification bell so you know exactly what I'm posting, which is currently Fridays, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That all being said, thanks again for watching today's video, and I will see you on the next one.